In the court case, Worcester versus Georgia, the U.S. Supreme Court held in 1832 that the Cherokee Indians constituted a national holding distinct sovereign powers. Although the decision became the foundation of the principle of the tribal sovereignty in the 20th century, it did not protect the Cherokees from being removed from their ancestral homeland in the southeast. Samuel Worcester was a minister affiliated with the American Board of Commissioners, and in 1825 the board sent Worcester to join its Cherokee mission to translate the Bible and other materials into Cherokee language. I, Samuel Worcester, am here to convert y'all savages to Christianity. Chief Waka Flocka, Buenos Nachos. I have settled on your land, and I will ravage your <laughs> women and make men of these indigenous peoples. On March 12, 1831, Georgia authorities arrested Worcester and several other missionaries for settling on the Cherokee land. Samuel Worcester, you're under arrest for misconduct and trying to settle in Indian land. After his arrest, Worcester oh. appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court. Chief Justice John Marshall wrote that the Indian nations were distinct independent political communities retaining their original natural rights. The Cherokee Nation remained a separate sovereign nation with a legitimate title to its natural territory. Despite Chief Justice John Marshall's opinion, President Jackson had a much different view on the subject. I, Andrew Jackson, seventh president of the United States, have heard John Marshall's decision. Now let him enforce it. President Jackson eventually began removing Indians forcefully as what was known as the Trail of Tears. Stop that.